expertise. So if this is the first video you're seeing on my channel, hello, welcome, my name is Momo and I am a LARPer. LARP stands for live action role play and it is essentially an adult game of make-believe. I have pretended to go to wizard school in a castle in Poland. I have pretended to be a princess at a university in the States. But my dream LARP has always been a LARP on a pirate ship. So when I was approached and told that Skull and Crossbones, a new LARP by Stefan Dutch, was taking place, on three pirate ships. <laughs> my bags were already packed and my Spotify was stuffed to the brim with sea shanties. Burling down, down the white waters Along driver's waltz pleases Girls completely For this game, you are assigned a character like you're being cast in a play. You fill out a questionnaire to let the team know what kind of pirate you'd like to play and then a professional team of writers gives you a character. After that, it's all you. You get to choose how to play that character, you get to choose what their costume looks like, and you get to live this pirate adventure through them. Now before you start this journey on the sea, you're gonna have to journey through the air to Germany. <laughs> Good segue, Momo. From the airport, they offer shuttle bus services that'll take you to the pier and your ships. Oh wait, I have different lyrics for this, actually. I don't know what a bowling is, do you? It was here I met up with my love, Cheyenne, from the LARP House channel, and my friend Erica. Me, boys, we're on the bus, and look who's here! I have money in my pocket. Look excited and point to the boat. <laughs> and now point at the air beside the boat where I'm gonna put the link to your blog. <laughs> You got your flippy floppies. <laughs> no, this one's Elucidation. Your pirates will be on one of three ships. The Bunta Coup, the Elucidation, or the Rel and Pog. The crew on the Rel and Pago quickly became my little seafaring family. They were just so kind and fun, and I could not ask for a better group of swashbucklers to get stuck in the middle of the ocean with. I actually wrote a song about us during the game. Well, have you met our ship so far? Most of it is just inside jokes about each other. Uh, we got our pieces of made now. <laughs> Don't trade it away or sell it. Heard what that is and stuff? It's like our pirate license, right? Yeah. What does that mean, our pirate license? It's our like badge. if we get pulled over by the pirate cops? If you don't have that, you're a law abiding citizen, then just go. Put it in my, in my this. Yeah! With my finger and my brain. <laughs> hey, wait, Erica, where did you get that? Pistol rental! Costume rental. So you don't have to take a fake gun over the border. Welcome to Skull and Crossbow! Imagine being bored. Now the exciting part! <laughs> Everybody looks so good, I'm so free! <laughs> it's the flag! It's the flag! It's our flag! Oh my god, it is! It's the flag! It's expecting something a little less amazing. <laughs> <laughs> good start, good start, seafaring. What? Oh no. Oh! Cheyenne, there's a kitchen on the inside of this ship! It's a little personal note. This moment meant so much to me. Like, this is the first LARP that I went to since getting out of the hospital. This moment is what kept me going. I'm gonna cry. Momo, you already are crying. I know, I know, I feel you, I feel you. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I'm gonna cry. Oh my god. <laughs> Nothing will ever happen. Everybody needs to leave the room first. <laughs> you want to touch every centimeter of this ship, don't you? Okay, I'll take top bunk. Would you like to take middle bunk? <laughs> If you haven't read the rule book or if you've never LARPed before, or if you have no idea what is about to happen, that's okay. They will run essentially a series of quick lessons before the game. The rules, safety, character building, and the lore of the universe that you're about to pretend to be in. Gonna be honest, don't remember much about this part because I was so excited I did not sleep for 26 hours and so... After learning about the game, the actual sailors that were going to be present throughout the weekend started teaching us about the ship. You must use uh, your feet. You must hold it. One, two, three. You know, some safety and logistics things, and then we sat down to eat, but not for long. One of the organizers was like, by the way, we've left port. <laughs> Me and China are just like, And just to be 
literally sailing on the Baltic Sea was such an otherworldly and breathtaking experience. And, and I wasn't even in character yet. Speaking of which, this is a LARP about sailing, which means gonna have to know how to sail. There's, I'm sorry, there's just one color. <laughs> oh yeah, I learned what a bowling was at this point. It's a knot. On the ship, along with our pirates and our game organizers, there were a couple trained sailors who I would just like to take a moment to apologize to. If you don't remember who I am, I was that annoying chick in the pastel skirt that could not tie a single knot right but got way too excited about climbing up in the rigging. They were awesome, they were so <laughs> friendly and so patient, they made the experience of sailing a pirate ship so much more real, and I love LARPs where you can take away real life experiences from them. Shout out to one of the sailors, Benno actually, because on the first night he comes up on deck with a bottle of rum, a three pointed hat I think he stole from someone else, and started telling us about how he knew Captain Wigbold's old cannon master. And then all of us realized, he's playing with us! Benno's playing with us! And he said he had a good time, and he'd probably LARP again. Along with helping sail the ship, you have to help out on the ship as well, because you're the only people on it. That means helping with meal prep, washing dishes, and cleaning toilets. Pirates of the Black Fleet! Okay, the game will start this way. The uh, Buntuku and the Relampago will walk back to their ships from recruiting new members of the crew. <laughs> the Relampago will go first. When the game started, it was twice as magical. What's one you've heard before? Oh, <laughs> nothing quite so um, mournful. Mostly more, mostly more cursing, as a general Aye. rule. <laughs> there are plenty and Mariah be buggered, says he. The bloody pub's on fire. <laughs> and there was Brown, he was upside down. Lapping up the whiskey off the floor. Booze, booze, the firemen cried as they came knocking at the door. Don't let them in till it's all mopped up. Somebody shouted McIntyre. We all got blue blind paralytic drunk when the old gun cow caught fire. So imagine joining a pirate fleet and then finding out you are cursed to never walk on land again unless you go visit this island where this fleet ditched their old captain. So wait, where are we going then? To the sea. I understand that we are on a ship. I'm very sorry, I didn't mean for that to come off so, um, but where are we going that we're gonna be on the sea for such a long time that I'm not gonna see my family? So that's what happened to me, or more so my character, Feline, a runaway bride turned pirate. Ten years ago, a mutiny was led against essentially the Pirate King, and he cursed his entire fleet in revenge or anyone that joined it. So you and the rest of the Pirate Gang have found a way to reverse the curse and are now setting sail to break free from the black magic. The rest of the weekend involved trying to get a grumpy bully from the Buntaku to go visit his dying mother. What's the business of this letter? Somebody in met. Wanted me to get it Charles Forrester, first mate aboard this ship. It's very nice to meet you. Who is the letter for? Um, Jeremiah Krautz. You're Jeremiah? Hi. I'm sorry to interrupt your evening. I just have a letter for you and it's very urgent. For me? Where did you get this letter? From your mom. What are you all looking at? Some magnificent hair blowing in the wind, sir. It's better not be something you're making up, Missy. And sorry if there's spelling errors, she just said what she wanted me to write, I wrote it, and it wasn't, it won't make sense. Drinking lots of rum around a beach bonfire. So what will you do with a drunken sailor? What? Put him in the bunk with the captain, start up! Put him in the bunk with the captain, start up! Put him aboard the Woo! Put him aboard the Relampago! We'll take him to the inn and get him drunker! Take him to the inn and get him drunker! A sea shanty off? Yeah. Whoa, Cape Cod cats ain't got no tails. Either way, all the way. They were all blown up in the Northwest scales, and we're bound away for Australia. Your turn. <laughs> I wanted to do that again, but the Buntaku won't let me on board! 
Jersey woman. Hey! It's been six years since you sailed away, and we just made uh, Halifax yesterday. God damn them all. Yes. Oh, 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 Okay, let's go. Shed no tears. I'm a broken man on a Halifax fair. The last of Paris private And of course, pirate battles. If us and the Lucy are on the same island Nine. and we meet, though we probably we have better to fighters, we need to be. Woo! Woo! We're definitely <laughs> in numbers. <laughs> Perhaps you ought to drill some of our folks that don't have a lot of experience. Yes. Let's get some guns, let's get some swords, and let's teach them which ends are dangerous. Okay, who will teach them first? The pointy end goes in the bad guy. <laughs> first rule, if you're gonna fire a gun, shout test shot before you do, because otherwise we're gonna assume what? there's problems on board. Our fists full of glass, we'll drink and be jolly and jolly and jolly and tears to the so I know even non-LARPers might want to know how the ship battles work. Who wants to fire? Who's the person? Can I take a boat? Please. I didn't realize you were actually going to fire cannons. <laughs> are you going to fire cannons? <laughs> are we actually going to fire cannons? Yes. <laughs> so on the ship, we actually had prop cannons that went poof. We were all stationed around the ships with little bags that had cards in them. Whenever a ship loaded their cannon, you yell when you were probably dying to yell anyway. And then you hear the poof. If you heard fire poof come from another ship, you'd yell, incoming! Incoming! So if at any point on the ship you heard fire poof, incoming, you grab a card, and the value of the card determines how much damage that area of the ship took. While all this is happening, the battle master is pointing the cannons, the doctor is healing people, the carpenter is repairing the boat, and the captain is barking orders for all of this to happen faster. It is so awesome. Well, that's the wizard. Well, that's the actually won one of these ship battles, and the elucidation was not pleased about it. That's somebody that has a pistol. Give me the sword! I don't have a gun! Oh, okay, thank you! Ah, now what? What am I supposed to do with this fucking ship? What the ship gonna do? You'll be fine! Try and take them to leave. And if they don't, do you want us to fight or do you want us to make terms? Hey! Hey! Politics were going great until diplomacy failed. <laughs> I cannot even count them, one of which is hanging on my wall right now. So on the last day, we had a deserter from the Relampago who joined the elucidation on his quest for gold and riches. And I just, you know, I happened to have some black spots on me, you know, just in case, rainy day. So we decided it was fair to deliver him a black spot just to watch him squirm, and we wrote a message on the back. 
The real treasure should have been the friends you made along the way. Which at the time was a joke. We all had a laugh about it, but it is now hanging on my wall and holds so much more meaning to me. The game was phenomenal. I learned so many things about sailing and adventure and myself. I laughed, I cried, I felt more real emotions than I have at a LARP for a very long time. Even if you're not a LARPer, just the experience of sailing on the sea, surrounded by swashbucklers, making stops at beautiful, beautiful locations, is an adventure in and of itself. All the amazing role play and the quests that the organizers would give us was just cherries on top of a beautiful mound of pirate ice cream. But after all of that, after the cannon battles and curses and treasure hunts, the real treasure was the friends I made along the way. Now. Oh my <laughs> <God>. <laughs> Thank you to everyone involved in inviting me on this journey. Thank you to Stefan for making an incredible game. Thank you to Cheyenne for being my camera person, getting all the cool footage from the adventure. She will also have a video about Skull and Crossbones at some point, and if it's not up yet, you can just take a look at her other videos, because they're all just stupendous, and so is she. Thank you to Erica for existing. All of her links will be in the description box as well. Thank you to the organizers. Thank you to the sailors. I forgot while I was filming this, but thank you to Epic Armory for sending me the dope pirate stuff. The baldric, the sword, and the boots that I'm wearing in this video were all made by them. They are incredible. Cannot recommend them enough. Please go check out their stuff. And thank you to Ishkan Photography for taking those incredible pictures of me on the cliff that you've been seeing on Instagram. Please go follow his stuff. He is amazing and incredible. And thank you to you guys, because without your support, I probably probably would not get invited to crazy stuff like this. So thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And as always, if you want to go on this adventure, all the links you could need will be in the description box below. Oh, look at that. I didn't write an end to this video. Great. Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. Da -da 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 -da. Do -do drink up, me hearties, yo ho. We steal all the loot, we give kind of a hoot because we're morally ambiguous pirates.